Hello, welcome back to Acrylics by Cat. Peace out. I'm Cat, aka Kathy. We're going to get started with a 12 by 12 canvas bottle bottom pour. Today I'm going to be using both warm and cool colors. I'm going to kind of do a yin and yang with those over the bottle bottom. I'm going to pour the warm down one side, the cool down the other, and let's see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm going to start pouring my warm colors. I'm going lightest to darkest. This is a combination color of Sunshine and Pineapple by Nicole um, Paints. Used to be an AC Moore company, I guess. Um, my next color is my favorite new color is Indian Yellow by Arteza. It is beautiful. And then my next color is Azo Orange by Amsterdam. I'm not the best paint pourer. I don't get those pretty, because some people just get those beautiful, distinct lines. I just don't do it. All right, now this is Cadmium, Cadmium Red Light. And then after this, I am going to top it off with Pyrrol Red by Liquitex Basics. And the cadmium was also Liquitex Basics. You hear my Neshoba woofing in the background. He sees something out the window. Anyway, there's my cup. And then... Okay, moving on to the blues. This is a Liquitex Basics Cerulean Blue. And again, I'm going lightest to darkest. Next is Cobalt Blue by Liquitex Basics. And then I'm doing Thalo Blue by Liquitex Basics. And my last two colors are also Liquitex Basics, which is Deep Violet. And then I'm going to top that off with Dioxazine Purple. Okay, we're going to see how this goes. Hmm. Which side is which? Watch me switch. No, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put a little black underneath the cup. Sort of divide the colors as they, because they're going to bleed under the cup a little bit. Oh, mailman, I'll be back. Okay, the barking has ended, so we can continue. And we're going to pour and this is going to be a slow low and slow kind of pour I hope everybody liked my last video with my history lesson on David uh, Sikoris uh, the inventor of acrylic pouring um, I found that very interesting and I had mentioned I had heard another artist um, mentioned the Raleigh Taylor instability um, I don't even know what to call it but anyway and I thought I said it was thought it was Tammy Anderson but the more I think about it I think it was Sarah Mack so I want to give credit where credit is due because I didn't just pick up this on my own anyway I gotta focus This is looking pretty. My hands are blocking your view, but it is looking very pretty. All of these colors together look nice, nice and nicer. Okay, well, it's hotter than Hades um, on the East Coast. It's humid as all get out. I am hibernating in the air conditioning these days. Oh, okay, here we go. We're at the end. Beautiful. I likey, likey. 
Okay, I'm going to put a black on the outside so I don't lose everything as I go to tilt it because I want to maintain as much of these bright colors as I can. Those yellows, oranges, and red just are amazing. Isn't that pretty in the cup? I don't think the camera does any of these colors true justice. Okay. It was starting to lean in one direction, so I wanted to turn the canvas. Everything is supposedly level, but even when everything says it's level, you always seem to drift to one side or the other. At least in my experience. Alrighty, I'm just gonna stop and wonder. It is really pretty colors. Okay, here goes the cup. All right, a little bit of a black hole there in the middle, which by the way is another technique I'd like to try. But let's fix that. I got this new, it's some kind of part comb at the store the other day and it's just these long fingers with little round balls on the end and I think it's gonna do wonderful things with paint right now I'm just using it to sort of draw circles and bring the color into that some color into that black hole and give a little pattern to the yellow Okay, yeah, still needs a little color. Okay, I'm going to torch it. And I voiced this over because at the beginning I really screwed it up. <laughs> so I had to edit it majorly. So that's why you don't hear my blowtorch. All right, the tilting we will go. Again, this is an art form that I am practicing at because tilting is an art form. I, I believe that truly. This is gonna be really pretty. I just hope I do it justice with the tilting here. Actually, I know the final product turned out beautiful, and I will show it to you at the end. But I like to just pretend that I'm not voicing it over. <laughs> Stretching everything out. Don't want to lose the colors, but there's plenty of paint on here. Look at those lines. I love that right there. That is a really pretty yin and yang. The light and the dark, the cold and the warm, the fire, the ice. I haven't decided what I'm going to name it yet. By the end of the video, and before I post this, I will. But right now, I'm still thinking. Wow. Just sometimes the colors pop and sometimes they turn to mud and I love it when they pop. Not a lot of cells in this. I didn't use any silicone or anything, but usually I get a little bit of cells. But my paint is a little thicker. I'm learning that too, the consistencies. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little patchwork. There was a little bit of black there that I didn't like hanging off the edge and I couldn't get it to fall off. 
So I'm going to blend it in. And that's another thing I'm learning about all the nice and nifty ways you can correct your paintings to the way you want it. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And if I love it, I just hope you love it. And if you don't love it, maybe the next one. Dab in my corners. To be or not to be, leave it be or not to leave it be, that is the question. Sorry, you have a little reflection from my ceiling fan light over top of the black there. And then my bright lights to the side in the yellow. Lovely. I am a novice creator and budding artist. I am a novice YouTuber and I'm a novice videographer and video editor. So I'm learning a lot of things all at one time. Okie dokie again. Are we done? Are we not done? Another torch. For a second there, I thought the dogs were going to go off again. I have two German Shepherds. One of them turns 11 on Sunday. She's my female, Miyakoda. And I have Nishoba. He is a male, and he is three years old. He's a handful, but I love him. All right, just touch it up the sides. Going to get rid of some of the excess paint here in a second. All right, I think we're finished. What do you think? Maybe a little tilt? See, you can never leave well enough alone. Okay, guys, I think that is it. It is pretty. I'm going to grab my cell phone and do a better close-up for you. And I think then we're going to call it a day. Okay. Here we go. Here is your close-up. Just getting some detail, the lines and so forth. Not the best close-up video I could have done. Um... I should have turned my camera around the other way. I had left it portrait for some reason, but you get the idea. Okay, thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Please subscribe.